Welcome to the interior of the incredible 1500 horsepower, $2.6 million Bugatti Chiron. We're going to give you a quick walkthrough of everything in here, all the infotainment system and this lovely, wonderful design, which is unlike anything else on the planet. Starting with the center console here, which is again, very different from a traditional car. There's no radio in here or anything else. You've got these four knobs with integrated high resolution displays. The bottom is for the seat heater, temperature setting, fan setting, and the overall thermostat setting. But they've got a kind of a secret double feature hold down any of these buttons and they toggle over to a second function. Right now I have it on the classic mode, so I have oil temperature, uh, coolant temperature, fuel level, and turbo pressure as well, but there are a lot of different things you can set in here. Lap times, G meters, pretty much anything you want. Everything else that you need as a driver is right here on the steering wheel. On the left, right underneath your thumb, you've got volume controls for the stereo, which has diamond tweeters, by the way. You can change tracks, pair your phone, make a phone call, all that from your left thumb. The right thumb controls the infotainment system, which is built into the right display here. Through this, you've got navigation, you've got all your stereo controls, and while entering an address with your thumb control here is a little bit finicky, everything else actually is surprisingly nice and easy to use. Down on the lower left, this knob controls the drive mode for the car. Turn it all the way left and the nose will lift about 10 millimeters, which is very helpful to keep that front splitter intact. The EB mode on top is the normal by default mode. Then there's the Autobahn mode, which lowers the car a little bit more and makes it ready for some more high speed stuff. And then all the way around the bottom is when you get to the high performance mode, which is what you're going to want when you want all the performance this car has to offer on the track. And then perhaps most important, this is the launch control button right there at the bottom. When you do that, make sure you put your head back on the headrest, else you'll get some whiplash. This is an interior that is unlike anything else on the road. It's a very special place to be, and I hope you enjoyed our quick walkthrough.